Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating another page in my handmade tag journal. I will link up a video in the top right corner info box where I share how I make this kind of journal. I'm using the tab binding from Dina Wakely and here I'm just starting searching for my background piece and I have some tissue inked with brushes. Um, that's really easy to do. I just uh, wet the whole tissue and then sprinkle brushes on top and let that dry completely and then you can tear the layers apart and use them as um, a background or collage element in your artwork. I also used the Nuvo Shimmer powders on this tissue and of course only the top layer has the shimmer on it uh, because the mica powders don't sink into the tissue. So I'm picking out one of the papers and I adhere them to the whole spread with gel medium. When this is done it needs a bit time to dry and I usually do this at night and then I work on it the other day. I also don't cut off the edges, I do this when it's completely dry. To create even more texture you can add some crinkles uh, into the tissue and glue that down so you get a really interesting organic texture. Here I'm back. I have cut off the edges of the of the paper, of the tissue, and unfortunately I again missed to stop the autofocus, so I'm really sorry about that, but that's only a short part of the video. Um, here I'm uh, just applying some heavy gesso. I want to create kind of a horizon line on my spread. What I like about using brushes first with tissue and then put it into the art journal is that you use gel medium and this fixes the brushes so they don't bleed into your gesso. I also want to add some stenciling and I use also the white gesso and a makeup sponge together with a star stencil from Stamplerations. When you do stenciling with paint or gesso and a makeup sponge, make sure not to overload your sponge. Um, if you do this, the paint will run under your stencil. When the gesso is dry, I go in with some background stamping and today I'm playing with the Watergirl One stamp set from my store. And I'm using these tiny hearts together with a pink permanent ink. It stays on and I just stamp it randomly to the background. Today I'm working with my favorite elements. I'm really crazy about stars and I also really love hearts and of course rainbows. Who doesn't love rainbows? And I find it very hard to um, integrate them to a piece, to an art journal piece. Always when I lay it onto my pages, I think, oh no, it doesn't fit really good. And today um, it matches really nice, I think. And talking about my favorites, I'm also using a star stamp. This is from the Textured Flowers stamp set and it's my favorite star stamp. I use it on many projects and it has a really nice shape, which makes it really easy to create a random star background. It wouldn't be my spread if I wouldn't add splatters to it. I can't resist it and today I just pick a green acrylic ink spray and sp make splatters all over the spread. I'm using ink sprays from Marabu and I have them for so many years and I never use them as a spray. I 
can't work with any kind of sprays. I don't know what my problem is. I have the distress oxide sprays and I can't use them because whenever I use them, it turns out really muddy and ugly. And I'm really sad about that, but I've learned I will never buy any ink sprays again. I've also added some splatters with a acrylic ink from Amsterdam. I dry this quickly with my heat tool so I can keep on working. Before I'm placing my rainbow on the page, I add kind of a horizon line and I'm using just a new color crayon for that. It's one of the water soluble ones and I just blend it in with my brush and water. I'm also using the yellow one. I just saw that it was a little bit dirty, so I first clean it on my under paper. I have always a blog post where I posted the photos of the project and I will link this up in my video description. So if you want to have some images uh, to look at, you can check that out. The rainbow I'm going to use is embossed in white to watercolor cardstock and then just quickly colored in with watercolors. In the top right corner info box of your video screen I have linked up another video where I used a brush tissue to create a grungy kind of art journal page. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to click on that info button. I'm using even more of the new colors by scribbling them to my glass plate and creating kind of a palette with them. I pick a lot of color up and let them drip down my page. When everything is dry, I'm arranging my elements on the page. I'm sticking down that rainbow and I also prepared some words. These are stamped with the Mix a Sentiment stamp set to some light lightly colored pad and paper and I just glue them down with a glue stick. When this was dry, I wasn't happy, I don't know why, because and now I think it looks better than after, but what I've used was the Arteza Aridescent paint in yellow. And these paints are really nice, they have always kind of two different colors depending on the background you're using. And I just paint the stars um, in yellow and it has a nice shimmer, but it's not visible on camera, of course.
this was my video for today. I hope you like how the spread turned out and I hope you enjoyed the process. Thank you so much for watching and we will see us next time. Bye!